This video brought to you thanks to the online company that can help protect your family with a no fuss will. Go to the website for a free quote with a special discount if you mention this video. So here we are down at uh, the academy training pitches and right behind me is the new Joe Hart training pitch. So it seems very appropriate that today I'm going to talk to people about Joe's return. He'll be wearing a Burnley shirt later on I assume. And I'm sure there's a lot of love for him as well among the supporters. I mean, he was a goalkeeper that uh, that was very well liked by all City fans, uh, an absolute hero. And I think quite rightly, he has this tribute to him. It's just in the shadow of the main academy building and not too far away from the academy stadium where there's an EDS game today. It's a precursor to the main match against uh, Burnley. So there'll be plenty of fans around and plenty of uh, people to talk to about Joe Hart. So let's see how much he's loved by City fans. Joe Hart was a great servant for the club, wasn't he? You know, let's face it, uh, over the time he joined us from Shrewsbury uh, as a young, young lad, uh, managed to secure his place, not Shea Given out, and Shea Given was a cracking keeper, wasn't he? So I think my most uh, memorable moment for Joe Hart as well was when we won the, the title the first time. And, I look back and remember him running around his area as he's celebrating the goal and stuff. So, yeah, all fair play. Players move on, times move on. But it's good that we've actually, you know, given, this, given him this tribute in terms of just recognising what he did for the club. Is he going to be on seeing him in a Burnley shirt? It's going to be very strange, but, you know, as I say, times move on and um, this will be the one occasion when I'm hoping we're going to beat him a few times in the after this afternoon. I was very gutted when, he, when Pep first came in and he got rid of him because I still thought, especially with the way Bravo performed, you still need a goalkeeper who could save the ball. So Edison, the la obviously last season Edison coming in, he's, he's changed the way football is when your goalkeeper uses your feet, but I still think Joe's still one of the best goalkeepers in the Premiership, so yeah. He's, he's up there with some of the best, but footballing side of for a goalkeeper has now changed. It's coming to being able to play football as well as doing all the goalkeeping things. So that has a big influence on it as well now. Have you seen a few more goalkeepers than your certainly have time? yeah. So how does he compare? Yeah, I don't oh, suppose you're old enough really to see good Troutman, goalkeepers, have you? haven't they? Troutman, you yeah. saw Troutman? And Swift. How does he compare then? Well they were all excellent weren't they? They've got a reputation for goalkeepers at this club and it's carrying on with a new one. I just so that's, uh, let's hope it carries on for a lot longer too. Are you going to cheer him when he comes out? Oh yes, oh yes. I mean, he was a good goalkeeper for us, wasn't he? Oh. I mean, some of, some of the European nights, I mean, the one that sticks out is the Barcelona match where Messi just couldn't get past him. I just, yeah, there's all lots of moments like that because he was with us for a long time. And yeah, I, I like Joe Hart. So do you want City to go easy on him today? No. <laughs> I am a City fan after all. So, no, no. If he drops some clangor, I won't applaud it, but I'll be happy. <laughs> So Joe Hart in a Burnley shirt, how are you thinking? It's really strange, really, really odd. Uh, fantastic player for City. And you know, it'd be nice today to give him the reception he deserves, because I don't think, if I'm not wrong, that he's played here since uh, moving, played against City yet. So it'd be nice to give him a reception, and I hope he gets a massive one. Uh, right up there with the likes of Zaba and Yaya, and people who've contributed massive amounts to the club and really done their bit for the history. So yeah, we're excited to, to welcome him onto the pitch later, I think, yeah. He's still would see a lot of goals go past him, presumably. I mean, I hope we don't get trounced, uh, but I do hope City win comfortably. So if we keep it to three, maybe not score eight, uh, I think eight will be a little bit humiliating, but he's still a good goalkeeper, so it's going to be a job today to, to get a couple cool past him, to be honest. So confident City will do the job, but I hope he, he has a good game at the same time. <laughs> Granddad Simon, is it today? Yeah, Granddad Simon got coming, Joshua was lad here today. I've got two more granddaughters at home with a blue, so but one's uh, one year old yesterday. Uh, Peggy and Sienna is two year old, so a little bit young to come to the games. Your son, Josh, is a goalkeeper. Yes. And obviously, Joe Hart, legendary city goalkeeper, playing for Burnley today. Yeah. How highly do you rate him? Oh, vastly. Uh, vastly. He's, he's, he's been up there with all the best goalkeepers. Took a little bit of stick, but he's come through that. 
But uh, Josh is, is one of his favourites. Josh, was, he speaks highly of him as well. But I'm looking forward to him today. Hopefully, uh, he'll let one in and we, and we get we get a win. But uh, no, he's a fantastic role model for uh, young players and especially goalkeepers. Would you have liked to have played in this team? Oh, unbelievable! Yeah, I've been reminiscing walking uh, through Manchester about uh, being brought up in Longside and all that. But yeah, it would it would have been a pleasure, especially playing up front because the chances that they make for, for playing, but the chances that they make. They're quite easy chances, but when you've got like 60,000 there, it'll be difficult. But no, no it's, a, it's a pleasure to watch this team. I'm, uh, I'm proud to be a blue when these are playing like they are doing. Is he going to win, yeah? Yeah, I'd say we'll win, yeah. It'll be tough. He's not going to come down, Sean. Sean, he's not going to come down and uh, park the bus, I don't think. I think they'll be, uh, they'll be solid. I think it'll be hard to break down. And I think we've got to be patient, and that's a big thing today. I think the fans have as well. I think we've got to be patient, but if we can get an early goal, it'll be fantastic. I thought it was a really poor first half. Uh, in fact, I think it was one of the worst first halves I've seen all season, personally. Uh, a lot of missed chances. Um, Sergio seems slightly off it to me. Um, but, you know, we're leading, that's the main thing. What about the Joe Art factor? He's made a couple of good saves, hasn't he? Jo yeah, and it's great to see Joe back as well. I mean, he's. Um, and the reception he's had is, is fantastic. You know, a remarkable reception, really. It's the perfect scoreline. I was just asking somebody before a 1 0 win and Joe Hart has a blinder. Not really, I want four or five. I always want four or five. Um, but you know, it's good to see Joe. But, but I'm seeing bits of, of old Joe that I didn't like, where he, he, you know, he kicks it down the field and it immediately goes to one of our players. And he did that for us time and time and time again. And it was the thing that drove me nuts about Joe. But it's good to see him back. Okay, I didn't think it was a vintage Manchester City performance. Uh, I did notice that Gareth Southgate, Noel Gallagher and Jimmy Anderson are here. Um, I don't think Manchester City have blown Burnley away. We didn't expect them to. Burnley are really hard to beat. And Joe Hart, I'm looking at the goal there. Joe Hart, two superb saves. First from Aguero, just before Aguero scored. And obviously from David Silva in added time at the end of the first half. But you just feel it's straightforward for City. They're just finding chances and really difficult right now. Yeah, fantastic. They played really well. Burnley are a hard team to beat. We've done really well breaking down a few today. And you fell about five goals going past Big Joe. Oh, well. Big Joe, 12 years at the club, he's done well, but it's time to move on for him. I just think he's done really good when he's coming, but he's always got a place in the heart of City fans. Um, I thought we should have been 4-0 up at uh, half time, to be quite honest with you, but we, we grafted, we created, and we scored, and De Bruyne coming on is a, another bonus for the uh, team as a whole. I just. I honestly, I can't see anyone stopping us, mate. Riyad Mahrez got the man of the match. Man of the match, goal. absolutely first class goal. I mean, but David Silva. If David Silva's on the pitch, David Silva's man of the match. That's it, end of. So I didn't know we were going to play today because I didn't know how Burnley we were going to set up, but it seemed a bit more open than I thought we were going to be. And we just, we just dominated really, as we usually do at the Etihad. We knew we were going to do that. We've got a, a mate that's a Burnley fan. He thought it'd be 4 0 today. We managed to bet it be 5. Which is always good, so I'll have, a, I'll have a chat with him later on. But Mara's had a good game, I thought his goal was unbelievable. He did really well to, to play in a position, uh, it looked like wing back, who knew, but it looked like wing back to me. He adapted really well and played well, so I'll credit to him. Phil Foden, when he came on, looked brilliant. His play, it was like, where have we got him from? Like, the people people don't produce them in Stockport, it's like we got him from a Spanish island somewhere. Like, it's really weird, but we had a top game today. and. Clean sheet, that's what we want. We want more of that. And obviously with United and uh, Chelsea drawing, that was good. Hopefully Liverpool will uh, drop some points and we'll stay top of the league. And that's all we want. As long as we stay top of the league to the end of the season, I'll be very happy. <laughs> yeah, superb, Ian. Uh, fantastic 5-0 win that. Uh, goals of different types today. So it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was a goal fest. Um, obviously, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, it's a catch-22 here because feel for Joe Hart, he's conceded five goals here and, 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 and it was a bit of a homecoming for him. Um, and you'd argue that neither of the five, or either of the five were, were, were his fault, do you know what I mean? I mean, the defending was terrible. On our part, superb. I mean, the way we brought, the way we converted our chances was uh, unbelievable. But 
the guy pulled off three immaculate saves and has ended up conceding five. But uh, more towards our, our, our game and our play, um, I thought we played, we were at our very, 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 very best and won five nil, so that bodes well for the future. But I just think that, um, yeah, we, were, we, we, made, we made every pass count. Um, we, we were clinical, um, we, were, we were decent in the final third and then when Kevin come on obviously you see the way that we break and it's a bit more intense, cutting edge passes um, and Phil Foden come on and performed absolutely outstanding hell in his 20 minute cameo so yeah, all round in a great win, 5-0 uh, onwards and upwards and I'm just glad that we've, we beat Burnley after going there last year and, and only managing to get a point at, uh, at Turf Moor so yeah, it's a great, 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 uh, great result and uh, let's just push on now. Yeah, it was alright, it was good, didn't see it as a 5-0. But um, happy with the result, clean sheet, no injuries. Who would have been your man of the match? Not Mara's. No. Um, Bernardo. Bernardo. Or Sane. Or Sane. Silver. David. Yeah. David. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is there anybody for you that's making City tick at the moment? David. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Bernardo. I think yeah, Bernardo's Bernardo. been tremendous this season. Yeah, massive. But well, now we've got the Ginger Prince back, then you know, been all. And Folden. Wouldn't have been nice yeah, to see Folden it, score. Yeah. 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 That's what we wanted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what we wanted. Super goal by Mara was absolutely class. It was worth the trip over. You come from where? From Dublin. Yeah. So you, Tried you think to get it's over. worth it just for that one goal? Oh, you bet. That was just magic. Magic team play. Absolutely brilliant. Supporting them since 1969. Neil Young, the winner at Wembley. How about that? <laughs> We're almost spoiled, aren't we now? No matter what 11 we put out, it works, doesn't it? Seeing John Stones playing it right back can make you think he can play anywhere on the park. Put him in centre midfield, he could do a job. Terrific footballer. Great to see De Bruyne come back as well. A bit rusty, but he's going to be, isn't it? Is there ever a fear to you that this can't last forever? Because I'm no, so I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I mean, he's, I was there in the dark days, so this is all just a bonus, really. But when you see kids coming on like Phil Foden, the ability he's got, future's great isn't it who's next who else is going to come through so no i've got no fears about the future whatsoever just enjoying every minute of it like everyone else is marvelous ian as usual oh this was a great day this one it took us a bit to get going but once we got in the flow of things we were just amazing mares that goal is i've got to watch it time and time again i loved it it was great yeah five goals i feel sorry for joe though yeah but we was amazing today. Second half, first half and that's that it wasn't going in. Second half, floodgates open. Beautiful. Does this feel like another title winning season? For the first time, I'm gonna say, it does feel like a title winning season and we don't have white in our collar. Think Why about is that superstition now on your part? On my part, we never we've not won a, uh, we've not won a trophy when we've not had white in our collar. Really? Yeah. If you notice, every season that we've had white in our collar, we've, had, we've won a trophy. When we've had blue, or when we've had black, or when we've not had white in our collar, yeah, we've not won anything. It's always a first. Always a first. This season might be it. Hoping so. <laughs> so a final scoreline of 5-0. 1-0 uh, it was at half-time, and I can't help thinking that the way City play these days, which reminds me of the way Barcelona did under Pep, actually, is to grind down the opposition, to outplay them, to, to basically dishearten them, to tire them out, and eventually you reap what you sow, and that's what I thought City did in this game. Now, obviously, Joe Hart was the big story ahead of this game. After the match, he's been presented uh, with uh, some sort of token. I think it's a golden season ticket, which means he can come here wherever he, he wants in the future, which I think is absolutely the right thing to do for an absolute Manchester City legend. Uh, so, despite a special day, five were put past him. And although I know a lot of City fans felt a little bit of sympathy for him, ultimately, it's about being a blue and wanting your team to win, isn't it? Thanks very much for watching. I'll be back, of course, at Shakhtar uh, on Tuesday night uh, over on my YouTube channel, or right here on my YouTube channel, I should say. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I appreciate that. And there's a little bell button that gives you the notification as well. And, of course, I'm at every game, home and away, following Manchester City on my, my YouTube vlog. So thanks very much. See you next time. And this is the fastest, easiest way to make a will online. Visit the website and quote blue for a special discount. And thanks for their support.